Okay, as promised, I'm going to do a quick um, tour of my ATC setup. And um, just to get an idea, this was a, a first generation M1000. I got it back in uh, July of last year, and it was a self-assembly. So it may look different from what I, some of the pictures that I've seen um, posted lately on the newer models. So we'll start at the back here, and you can see it's got the... Uh, cover I noticed looks uh, a little bit different it's got this um, clear plate here which when you look down into it let me see if I can get get in there yeah you can see the LED lights on the UC100 controller that's installed on the main board this switch uh, was uh, added as part of the magazine so this was replaced um, and it was this new plate was included uh, in, in the kit. So this switch uh, has the three positions. I always uh, keep it in the center, the zero position. Uh, for the most part, I haven't had a need to switch it to one of the other positions yet. Uh, the back, so um, that one on the end is for uh, fourth axis. The power, the uh, LED lights, to show activity on the main board and, and power to the main board. Um, there's no switch. I heard there might be a switch on the newer ones or a power switch. I just uh, have a power strip that um, turns everything uh, on and off. I have my spindle connected to it along with uh, the main power. Then over here, you got the two probes, one probe coming from the magazine for its built-in touch probe and the um, other probe that I have uh, for Z0 on the, on the bed. And then of course this is the spindle cable which goes directly to the spindle. And then coming out we've got, uh, let's see, this is for the emergency stop, this is for the ground plug, and this, I believe, oh this is for the USB. So I just have them coming through the, the pass through uh, access ports here. Then as we move down, this is uh, installed since the uh, with the with the new magazine. So this is the small air hose that goes to the pneumatic piston up here that uh, is responsible for the uh, for the dust boot uh, retract and release. And then the main. Um, main air hose, which feeds the, uh, the magazine. And I'll, I'll get back to that. And then the, um, this is part of the touch probe cable that goes into that probe port over there. Then we've got uh, the, well, another air hose. Oh, this is actually the, the feed. This is coming from the, from my compressor. So I have it going into a regulator with, with a filter so I can uh, keep, keep the pressure pretty consistent, just over 125 PSI. It's also got a valve and a moisture filter. So that's going into this port right here. And then this one, okay, this is the output. This actually goes to the ATC. So this goes up and around. And if you notice, I have everything routed up and out of the way rather than using the, uh, the tracks here. I found this is better for me. So I have it with bungee keeps everything out of the way. I have some strain reliefs, but that air hose goes all the way down into here and connects to the ATC. And that's what um, controls the chuck uh, whenever there's a tool change. So that's how the connections look for now. Um, I'm planning on making a video more of a tour of how I have things set up and maybe looking at that spoil board. Um, been real happy with it. It's still a work in progress, of course. So with different clamps I use and uh, the inserts, of course, the match fit jigs that uh, allow me to use, that I use in place of uh, T-Tracks. So that'll be for another video. But anyway, at least that should uh, illustrate how I have mine set up with the new magazine.